10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Chamber pressure nominal. Ship ignition. Boost back front start up. Stage separation. S stage separation confirmed. We've got six engines running on ship. Booster is doing its boost back burn, continuing now towards its splashdown site in the Gulf. Ship we have seen all six Raptors nominal. lit up on ship. All right, here we go. Landing burn startup. Looks like we got 12 of those 13. Down to three, including one of the middle ring. Down to two. Landing nice little down. hover. And landing burn shut down. And into the gulf, here we come. And the booster has splashed down. All right, Flaps earning their paycheck today, getting through kind of that max stressing. Definitely things looking good so far. We're about two minutes out now from Starship becoming transonic. One cool thing to note as we get some of those views showing kind of the, the whole length of the ship, uh, one of the changes we made after Flight 6 was to uh, change the tile line a little bit. So we had kind of scaled back the number of tiles significantly as when we go to catch these ships, you don't want to, I think as Elon said, you don't want to shuck the, the ship as you catch it and knock all those tiles off. So we knew we were going to have to kind of peel back that layer a little bit. And the first time we did it was on Flight 6, and we saw kind of wrinkling and dimples almost in the ship as we were creating these hot spots in the uneven parts of the heat shield. And so we, to kind of address that, we smoothed it out. That's why you've got kind of that nice smoothed out black line now on the ship. And just looking at it, we can see kind of a little bit of hot spot, a little bit of warping almost. Uh, near the payload door, you can see a little bit of colored patina up above it, but we don't see those kind of deep, uh, almost, you know, they almost look like gouges uh, on that. So it looks like that's that's been pretty successful. So, all right, we are less than a minute away from, from hitting transonic. Again, pretty soon our, our kind of, our forward velocity is going to look like it's kind of falling off a cliff and Starship will look like it's falling off a cliff <laughs> as we essentially go into our belly flop. If you watched some of the, the high altitude tests or suborbital campaigns, uh, we were able to test that. That was, it was a pretty fundamental, like, can this thing actually fly? Um, and we were able to prove that out with that suborbital campaign. Uh, and that's what we're about to see shortly here. All right, so at this point, we've dropped below the speed of sound. So Starship itself is subsonic. We are starting to chill the engines for a landing burn attempt. Landing flip supposed to start in a little over two minutes. Subsonic Indian Ocean, we're on our way. Starship is subsonic. There we go. Farewell space. All right, so coming up in just a little under two minutes, so we're going to do the flip 
and the burn. So we're only using those three center Raptor engines, the sea levels, the ones that can kind of gimbal, that can move around and steer. Dipping the nose down a little bit. Got two of our engines chilled in, waiting on one more. So again, we'll, we'll attempt to use three burns for that initial flip. We eventually go down to just two Raptors for the end of the landing burn. Just about one minute now from that landing flip and landing burn start. Structurally, we're looking good. Got good pressures in our nose cone for everything. Just about 30 seconds. So again, we're gonna look for the flip. So Starship's doing its belly flop right now. We're gonna do the flip. Swing out, let's punch through some clouds first. Here we go. Starship landing burn start up. Seeing three engines. There's our flip. There's a buoy. Oh <laughs> There's a splashdown. Hey. Oh, man. Yeah. Farewell, Ship 37. Thank you, Bowie Cam. Landing flip, landing burn, splash out of the Indian Ocean. There we go. All right. That was pretty awesome. Incredible flight cool, right? today for both Ship and Booster.